Hi guys, got another build here for Diablo 3 and this time we're going to do a build for the monk. Um, now I wanted to do a build, this is a, well it's not really a levelling build, you will need to team up basically if you're playing with friends and you want to take down a, a, a boss or you're stuck at some point, this is a build that you can use. For the monk that will improve the healing that is done by the monk. I'll load on the, um, the skills and you'll see what I mean. Basically for primary we're going to do Fists of Thunder, unleash a series of extreme fast punches that deal 110% weapon damage as lightning. Every third hit deals damage to all enemies in front of you and knocks them back a short distance. Generates spirit faster than any other spirit generating skill due to the high attack speed. And you want to have quickening to go with that. Critical hits generate an additional 15 spirit. Unlocks at level 42. Before you get there, you can use lightning flash. Increase your chance to dodge by 16% for 2 seconds. Now for your secondary skill, you're going to go for um, Inner Sanctuary. Create a runic circle of projection on the ground for 5 seconds that cannot be passed by enemies. So not really a healing skill in itself but it will keep you and your friends safe in a party. And then if you put the safe haven rune with it, you and your allies standing in the area regenerate life so that will actually heal. Now defensive, you want to go for breath of heaven. Blast of Divine Energy heals you and all your allies within 12 yards. Um, again, really good healing ability. And then if you add Circle of Life to it, it increases the healing, um, how much you're actually healed. Techniques. If you go for... Um, let's see. Serenity. You are enveloped in a projecti uh, protective shield that absorbs all incoming damage for 3 seconds and grants immunity to all control and varying effect. Again another healing one. And if you go for tranquility, extends the shield to allies within 45 yards. So again, this is a perfect build if you're actually taking on a boss because you can have the, the monk here which is basically healing everyone. Um, you want to go for cyclone, uh, cyclone Strike here, pull all enemies within 24 yards towards you followed by a furious blast of energy that deals 100% weapon damage. And if you have Soothing Breeze with this, it heals you and your allies within 24 yards. Um, for your Mantra, you can guess what we're going to go for, um, Mantra of Healing. Causes you and your allies within 40 yards to, um, to gain increased life regeneration. And you want to go for Boon of Inspiration. Um, Mantra of Healing shrouds you and your allies with a magic mystic shield for 2 seconds that absorbs up to 15% of each target's maximum life. Okay, so that's like the, the healing build for the monk. Now you want some good passives. You want to go for Exalted Soul, increase maximum spirit. You want to go for Chant of Resonance, duration of all mantras increased by 7 minutes. And lastly, you want to go for Guiding Light. Whenever you use a direct heal skill on another player, you and the other players deal 16% more damage for 15 seconds. So this is, you know, basically a healing build for the monk to take down the difficult bosses and so on. Give it a go. Um, you have to use this in the party, really. You couldn't use it as a solo. But give it a go and let me know what you think. Cheers, guys.